There, I stretched my legs, got a drink again, and I'm all good to go. <laughs> Plus, once this session ends, like, once I'm done with Mass Effect 3 for the session, I'm going to... That's the stuff I have to set up. I haven't set it up because I was done, or not done, I... I had some stuff that I have bought slash ordered and... Or bought slash or yeah, bought slash ordered, we'll, we'll go with that. Because I... I have, but I haven't set it up yet, so I'm just waiting until this session is over. Once it's done, then I will. Come on, Beth. I've got a lead on something. Then I'll set it up. It's for my game. It's for my computer and all that. I found something you need to see. What? What have you got? What? 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 Analyzing signals. Is this the Grissom Academy problem? That. No, Commander. Need a drink. Whoever was at Grissom Academy is dead now. Thank you for the update, Specialist. What have you found here? A group of Cerberus scientists Ugh. cut ties and fled. Excuse me. Finally realized they were on the wrong but yeah, road. also so you know, we don't know I'll explain it in uh, Mass Effect Andromeda, but I have some footage I've been sitting on since... I can't remember, it's either it's May 2020 or May 2021 and a bit on. I, it's fully recorded, it's a full gameplay session. I've been seeing. on, I was like, ah, do I want to release it? I'm not sure, sort of thing. But I will, I have made the decision after Mass Effect 3, Mass Effect Andronis, well, we're gonna play those. I'm doing SpongeBob, I'm doing South Park as well. I am going to be doing that. I'm going to be uploading it. <clears throat> just some more stuff, just so we have, just so we have, just so I have it. But we shall be good. So there's that. I'm Commander just telling Shepard. you something. You know. Well, hello. I remember you, people. I wish we could have met under better circumstances. Another thing I that's sort of starting to piss me off. Well, take we'll a drink and I'll talk about. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake the home world. Excuse me. Which was a well, then starting to piss off people, like example, say the humble Broncos. No one outside of Saskatchewan gave, and this sounds wrong, but this is my opinion, and it rings true a lot if you look at it. No one outside Saskatchewan gave a flying fuck about the Humboldt Broncos till there's an accident and a whole bunch of them got killed. And everybody started, well, outside Saskatchewan, everyone started caring about them. What I think is wrong, I think, you should care about them all the time. No matter if they're not in your, uh, I think it's a midget or bantam, I can't remember, whatever hockey league they were in, you should care about them no matter what. If they're based on them, if they're not, just always keep up on that stuff. Now, like, oh, some bad happens to them, that, the whole bunch of them died, I'm going to care about them now. No, that's wrong. And I, I even said, like, I'm not trying to be insensitive here. I, it's not that I don't, like, I, I will admit, I've seen some of there are good hockey players <coughs> on there. There were, but I'm not gonna. I'm not really interested in them. And while they're confused, you get to I'm not gonna be like, oh, the, this happened now, so I have to care about them. All like, no, it. This I'm. I respect what they do. I'm paying. I respect them. I'm not gonna be like, oh, I should jump on the bandwagon. That's how I've always been. Like another thing, and I'm gonna get probably flack for this, but I'm just gonna say it. Like all the natives, less in. Did you just I think like when all with all the residential school stuff like Glad you could make it, Tally. People, like the uh, already a team to hit that dreadnought. And when Tally's back, uh Commander. <coughs> and uh like all the I had no idea you were with like, it seems like the generation that are Oh, I'm trying to think of like my exile. twenty two so You're their dirty little secret. Well fourteen. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. We'll go with that. We'll go with that age, because I don't know. Because I don't no, really pay attention. Sad, they're sort. You they're just finding out about stuff for the first time. Where us, I'm like, about Earth. like uh, older generations, the know about it. And they, everyone's like, "Oh, we should oh, do I this and this." Like we've been trying, but we been shut down multiple times. You'd support the invasion. Now the people who, no, I didn't uh, think and this sounds fun. bad, but it's not. Uh, it's not so me. I help them? People who don't. Care about native slash indigenous, like now they're starting to join the thing, like, oh, we care about, we gotta do this, we gotta do this, this, and this, like, 
and just like you weren't saying that a bit ago, so you're flip floppy. Like, if, if you, you care about him, care about him. Let's talk don't private. just try to jump on the bandwagon to make yourself seem important and caring. Just always be like that. Like, I know a whole bunch of uh, indigenous slash native people. I'm friends with them. I went to high school with some of them. Lots of people. But still, all the stuff that they keep trying to... These, all these fucking snowflakes keep trying to... Uh, say and do. Saying, we discovered this, we discovered that. Blah, blah, blah. No, you do not discover it. And a lot of stuff that you claim to have discovered is from the Generation Y. <laughs> or Millennials. Gen Xers. Uh, yeah. Gen Xers, Millennials, I think. B, yeah, B boomers. It was around before, and you're just like, oh, this is our invention now. Like, eh, no, you're just trying to claim shit. And it just keeps releasing really tired. I'm hearing them spout shit off saying, yeah, we just got, oh, geez, excuse me, discovered this, this is our stuff, blah, blah, blah. Like, one thing, and people, they can, you can make points out on the comments, I'm not going to be, yeah, about it, I'll say you can do your thing. You can have your, uh, opinion, I'm not going to be mad about it. Actually, you know, yeah, I can say that, uh, like, going outside. And have them with your friends, like kids, like kids back in and like millennials, Gen Xers, and baby boomers. They still, they still have friends and all that. But what some like the boomers and some of the Gen Xers are are, are mad about is that kids nowadays they still have friends, but they're not going outside and playing because it's more like they're gonna stand inside. If you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Don't tip me, Joker. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I don't know the national anthem. I'd butcher it and it wouldn't be good. But just Joker me replying to Joker. Oh, they shit. Joker's smart mouth. Another thing, like, I like to every now, oh, you can't you get a hole, you can't do this, you can't do that. Oh, wah, 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 wah. Oh, fucking hearing. But pretty much, it's like I drank out of hose. I'm fine. Nothing like, oh, you're gonna go to your friends. Oh, you gotta text mom, dad, grandma, papa, nana, or grandpa. Look, okay, they're young enough. We're saying they're young enough. Right. You got to drive. You there and back. And like for me, it's like you're going to go out. Okay, you security. have to be back at this time. Quite and we're fine. Ready to the thing is that I'm that people say, oh, you shouldn't say any time, I shouldn't do this, shouldn't do that. It doesn't make kids, it doesn't pr promote good self esteem. <clears throat> yeah, if you say, oh, say I'm not going to punch kids, I'm not going to give them time out, I'm not going to be all negative. It does, it promotes them being a fucking spoiled little cunt. I know that you don't. He doesn't like me saying that word, but I, I'm telling you the honest truth, that was promotes. And it's annoying as shit. Really is, and I... I... It's annoying as shit. <laughs> because the kids, have, they feel fucking telling, I want the cell phone, I want this, I want that. Wee, wee. Oh, when I was over seeing my uncle and all that, I I had some gum like it was my type of gum, and they got my knee on and said, "You can't have some, can't have some, can't have some." No. And they get mad when I tell them no because they, everyone else tells them yes to everything. And I think that's why they like me because I tell them no all the time. And they's like, "He told us no. He didn't tell us yes. So that's different." I'm gonna see what's gonna happen here. <clears throat> like stuff like that. They, that's their sort of their mindset, and it's like. They like it because I, I love them, but I will not share with anything. I'm saying, you know, you're fucking up, right? Like, I'm not gonna actually say they're fucking up. I'm saying, you know, you're being uh, 
What's the word? You're being spoiled, little Brad, and I think spoiled little Brad should not get this. I know I'll never be the same. Shook my world so hard again. Wish I washed away my sins. He's a dead man walking, blank staring in his eyes. Should've given up on the ones I trust. Never should've been surprised when they shot him.